What's going on, YouTube? Today, we're going to discuss something very simple and very direct, but it's also very complicated. We're talking about the Batman Beyond's photos that are circulating online, done by the people that were supposed to, or rather, the people that created Into the Spider-Verse. Apparently, this was a pitch. They had pitched to the, the DC executives, and they said no. <laughs> Can you imagine saying no to such a thing? Are these people blind? Or can they not just smell gold when it's in front of them? Because I don't get it. Okay, let's start from the beginning. Batman Beyond is a story about a young guy called Terry McGinnis that is mentored by Bruce Wayne himself. But this Bruce Wayne is an older version. He's decrepit. He's given up on protecting Gotham because he's too old. So through this kid, he's going to protect Gotham by training Terry to be the new Batman. That's the general concept of Batman Beyond for those of you who are too young and never watched the series. So we get to meet an abundance of new characters, new rogues for this new Batman Beyond to fight. Old classic characters coming forth. And that's basically the story, right? From hearing that alone, what reasonable executive will hear the idea of the studio? I mean, obviously, granted, they haven't done much work in animation at that point, so they were probably scared. But Jesus Christ, you have an IP like Batman Beyond and you haven't done something with it till now? You deserve to be shot. And now we got the Spider-Verse. Oh my God, I personally will never replace the Spider-Verse with anybody. I get that Batman Beyond was going to be great, it was going to be iconic, but no way will I replace it with the Spider-Man. I mean, come on. We low-key even got a taste of how Batman Beyond was going to be like with the introduction of Miguel O'Hara, the Batman of 2090 something or whatever. He was a good character. But the Spider-Verse has brought me so much joy. It is so uplifting, the sound, the visuals. I mean, come on, we got Hobby Brown. Who doesn't like Hobby Brown? He's iconic. So I mean, if I'm being honest, I'm glad we got the Spider-Verse. I mean, DC would have messed it up anyway if we got Batman Beyond. I mean, low-key, if you think about it, the Spider-Verse has a lot of appealing parts of it, especially when it comes to black culture. I'm not usually the types that talk about race and stuff like that, but I like the fact that it was a black co black character that is leading with the studio. Do you feel what I'm saying? The sense of style, the swagger is just, it's immense. But if we're doing the Batman story, ugh. I mean, it would work, but still, nah, I'm a DC fan for life. Batman Beyond would have been amazing. They should have done it, but I'm glad we got the Spider-Verse. I would never, ever wish we got beyond Batman before the Spider-Verse. It is what it is. If they change their mind and they give us this series, I'll be grateful. Miguel O'Hara was actually low-key cool as hell. Nobody talks about him enough. But yeah, that's the end of my video. Please like and subscribe. God bless.